4.05 a.m. Gonna try to hit the road by 4.30 or sooner than that if possible. 4.15, about to hit the road. Yeah. Gonna hit the strawberry. I don't know why these guys dressed up like it's winter. It's hot as hell already. Should be there right before sunrise. All right, we just pulled up. We actually got here in about an hour and 20. This is Badger Point. We've never fished this spot, but we heard it's good. So hopefully we didn't hear wrong. We're on the Soldier Creek side. So normally you fish on the Soldier Creek day use area. It's a little bit further that way. Or the dam, which is right around that hill over there. Um, but we wanted to try this spot. So let's get our lines out and see what we can do. I think there's fish jumping though. Yeah, that sun's gonna come up, so they'll start eating. So let's try to get our lines out. So to start off, we're gonna use our go-to Carolina rig with the bubble. We got a super long leader. We got corn yellow bait on it. I'm gonna cast this out. We also brought some small shad as well. Let's see how the shad works. Um, so like the baby fish or the small fish to try to catch some big fish. Hey rookies, hurry up. Uh, Jay got hit already. Nice dude. Nice pretty rainbow. Jay got a second one. Oops. Ooh, I'm getting hit right here. Dang it. Let's see. You got it, Chung? Oh, dang it. I am getting hit. Let's try to keep this one this time. Yeah, hurry. Go, 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 go. Come on. Good. Nice, dude. Keep it in the water. I'll come unhook it. Still there? Oh, dang it. We lose it? Son of a... Nice, Jay. Let me rig this one back up. It's like we did get it. We're just catching bait fish over here. Nice. Well, a fish is a fish. We got one! Hey, this one's uh, two feet long. This one's scarred so much. So this is fish number four. Here, uh, put your pole down, Jay. Yeah, scoop that thing. <clears throat> Jay's got two already. Deflau's got one, and now Chung got one. Cool. And I got my mahi. <laughs> Real, Chung? Bring it in. Only catching and releasing so far. Well, that's actually big. Let's see. Scoop it up, Jay. Oh, don't, don't ever scoop it on the rocks like that, dude. <laughs> what a rookie. Hold it up. Nice. Real quick, picture, hold it up, Jay. One, two, three. Let's see. Oh, nice. It's a pretty one, dude. Let's get, let's measure real quick. All right. Delphal has been trying to shad or the, yeah, a little shad for a little bit. Not getting much. Jay's already caught three fish, I think. Chung's caught one. Def Lock caught one on, pulled one in on power bait. I got power bait right here. And now I'm gonna try this spoon as well. But we've only been here probably less than 45 minutes and already pulling five fish. And I think that guy has pulled in zero fish. But it's not a competition. These freaking dingleberries. Chung getting the hit over there. Let's see if we can pull it in. This line's been getting hit, but the freaking fish won't take it. Are they good size? 
Don't pull, don't break it. Hang on. Is there another fish on the other one? Let's see. That's a decent size one too. I just had to show these rookies how to do it real quick. Pudge, nope. pull this cutty in with that gold spoon. Try to get a picture of it. Let's see and measure that thing. Probably about, I say probably 17 inches, 16, 17 inches. Let's have a look. Dude, where's the net? Get the get the net. Hell yeah, baby. It's a cutthroat for sure. Yeah. Dude, hold that on up. Dude, let's get a picture of that one for sure, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's a pretty one. I mean, we catching so much fish over here. I mean, let's, I'm like, dude, let me wrap it up. Let's just wrap it up so, you know, some of these other folks get some of this fish. Right now, we catching up all the fish. We taking up all the fish. Me and these freaking three booger nose helmets over here. Catching on all the fish. The weather's perfect right now. So now I'm gonna try the shad. I got a shad out on this line. Let's see what happens. These guys are still chasing crawdads. I told me if we get enough crawfish, we'll do a boil, but they're like catching one at a time. This guy right here just met him. His name's Pride. Pretty cool dude. I like trying to talk to people when we're out fishing. It's usually about 50% of the time they like talking back. But my man probably did ask if he could squeeze in. I was like, yeah, man, we can scoot over. Old school, old school fisherman. What you guys got? Crawfish. Man, you gonna take you guys forever if you're going to fill up a boil. Dude, you just dropped the crawfish. Ooh, nice, JJ. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, hold it right there. Please, hold it there. So, so freaking Jay had his rod just on the rocks over here. Walked away, turned around, his rod was gone. We seriously lost it for how long? Probably 30 minutes or so? Yeah. Then we, we spotted the rod out there. <laughs> So I went and dove in and grabbed the rod, pulled it back out, and freaking reeled in a fish with it. Fish was still on. We got to keep that one. That one's going to die for sure. What the heck? Been a good day. Been a good day. Clean that fish for the... JJ going to gut his first fish right here. That's Turned out to be a freaking awesome day. Straight up crushed it on the fish out here. Yeah. We're gonna go try to see if we can get some crawdads. crawdads. But at the dam or by the dam, we'll see what happens. So we're pulling up to the Soldier Creek Dam day use area. This is actually one of our favorite spots to fish. We'll fish off of this point right here. There's a little island out there. We'll fish on both sides of this dam. And we, we usually do pretty well. But we've caught a ton of fish already. So we're just coming down here to try to catch some crawfish. So it wasn't too crowded. So we made our way out here. We're gonna, we didn't really bring stuff to attract crawfish, but usually when we leave our fish on a stringer, and this one. Oh, they're, 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 they're in there, dude. Just leave them. They're freaking in there. The crawfish will start climbing all over the fish. So we got a fish out there trying to bait some crawfish. Bring them closer. Bring them fish closer. Yeah, just leave it right there on top, John. It'll, it'll come. Water's super low, though.
don't know. But we're calling it a day, heading home. We're gonna grab some food. This guy's not done already. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching. Tune in next time.